Hello and welcome to Reading Lab TV. I'm Trish. And I'm Singh. Over the years, we have a lot of questions from parents about reading. Today, we're going to address one of those questions. Should we force our kids to read? Um, you know, reading is important. Everyone knows that. Successful people have always been talking about reading. Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, you know, Mahade. Mahade. And uh, Elon Musk, they have been saying that we should get our kids to read since a young age so that they can build a successful path into adulthood. But the thing is, a lot of kids are distracted nowadays, by phone especially. So should we, as parents, force our kids to read? What do you think? I, I guess it really goes down to what is the definition of forcing them to read is. Uh, are we talking about caning them to read? Are we asking them to um, you know, take away their mobile devices and scold them every time they have it? You know, Are we getting them to sit down next to us and read out loud so we make sure that they read? Is that the kind of force that we're talking about? So in this type of force, meaning we are punishing them, whether it's mentally or physically, so this is extreme, this is extreme to try to get them to read. Mm -hmm. So yes, if we define force in that way, should we? Uh, well, I think those kind of methods or those kind of ways um, are really counter-effective. To get them to um, sit in front of you and, and open a book and read to you, you know, um, with a certain time frame and say, okay, this is what you must do. Um, if not, then you can't, for example, go out and play or you can't um, you know you, you you limit their activities just because you want them to read I think this is a very counter effective method and it doesn't do um, much to build their interest okay yeah um, when you say counter effective yes I believe so um, you see when we use this method when we punish them mentally or physically we are creating fear we want them to do what we want them to do yeah. by creating fear but once that fear has been taken away, then there will be no interest. Mm -hmm, they, they will not be interested to do it because then they you know, um, they just hate it. So when we take it away, there's no longevity mm -hmm. that they are not going to do it after the punishment has been taken away. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they hate it. So what else after that? What else after that? Well, again, it goes back to the definition of force. So if we're not going to force them physically or they shouldn't force um, them by you know, taking away their uh, devices, um, it should be forced in a different way, perhaps a force of pattern. Okay. You, know, you know, build a habit of reading instead of saying, okay, you can't do this unless you read. So you, you, you set a time period for them to read, perhaps 10, 15 minutes before bedtime, or maybe on Saturdays after lunch, 10, 15 minutes, you just talk about books and get them to read. So it, it forms a pattern, it forms a habit so the kids get to read. So it forces that uh, system upon them instead of a forced method of, okay, you have to do this. It, so, yeah. yeah. So in a way, you're building an environment yeah, for them. You're building them, the you're getting them into the habit of reading through environment. And I think that environment should be started at a young age one two three you know you can you can tell them a lot of big time stories you build you build their interest in stories mm -hmm. and you no know, these stories are gotten from books not your phone but from your books and i think the most important thing also parents must read your parents must build must be a good role model yes correct. so because i we believe that children they they look up upon their parents and whatever the parents do the children will do right yeah so what are other ways that to help the kids to read and not force mm -hmm. but help well parents can stock up the cars with books maybe not stock up but you know leave two or three in the in the car for the kids to um, look at or read on their way to school or maybe on the way to a restaurant or while they're waiting for their grandparents or waiting for their parents to run errands so the, the car also becomes a mini uh, library. Uh, library and you can also um, leave some books or uh, reading material in the toilet when they, yeah, yeah, when, yeah you, you can re you'll spend some time there. So 
um, <laughs> it, 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 it gives them that space to you know um, to read it gives them that that time to focus on okay I have a book okay I this is my time to read so uh, it, when parents set that kind of environment it you know influences the children to so read. forcing here is not forcing it's not physically forcing not physically forcing not mentally forcing yeah. them you know but it's rather to build an environment to manipulate yeah the the in and around of the kids to get them to read yeah so yeah and i think i hope this answers your question so if you have any other questions for us leave us a like in the comment below hopefully answer your question in the next episode of faq <laughs> of faq frequently asked questions ciao Hello, welcome to Relax TV. <laughs> Over the years, a lot of parents have asked us um, this question. <laughs> What's the question? See? See?